The U.S. economy has been on recession watch for months now, and so far, the all-important American consumer has been holding strong, keeping those recession forecasts from becoming true. Consumer is still spending. Consumer is in better shape. If they have money, they're going to spend it. Our consumer is continuing to be resilient. The consumer health has been resilient so far this year. Consumer resilience is about to be tested. Americans now carry more than $1 trillion in credit card debt going into the holiday shopping season. The Federal Reserve's rate hikes have caused average interest rates for credit cards to spike to more than 22%. Rates on retail credit cards are even higher, nearing 29% on average. Despite this, the holiday season shows no signs of a slowdown, as each shopper is prepared to spend almost $900 on average this year, according to an NRF survey. The U.S. consumers walking towards a, a, a cliff, basically. The state of the consumer will be in focus in the post-holiday season, as economists will want to know, can American consumers handle racking up a record amount of credit card debt, and if it will lead into more delinquencies? This is the first time credit card debt has topped $1 trillion in America. That amount includes both revolving balances and balances paid off at the end of the billing cycle. Consumers are increasingly reliant on credit cards to finance purchases of everyday goods and services, and that's because they're just getting a lot more expensive. At the same time, their wages are not increasing at the same pace as inflation, and that makes it more difficult because as the credit card balance increases, it can be more challenging for consumers to pay down that debt. The excess savings that Americans line their pockets with during the COVID-19 pandemic is largely now spent. High inflation and interest rates have made everything more expensive. Normal costs like groceries, gas, and housing are all rising. Add in the resumption of student loan repayments, and it's creating the perfect rising debt storm. Americans are skipping out on some of their credit card payments because household budgets are squeezed due to higher borrowing costs. Another factor for the rising debt is the increase of credit card users. More than 70 million new accounts have been opened since 2019. That year, 65% of Americans owned a credit card. And after contraction and issuance due to the pandemic, the amount of Americans owning a credit card rose to 69% in 2023. Credit cards can be like power tools. They could be really useful or they could be dangerous. It's all about how you use them. Typically, after the holiday season, Credit card debt levels drop as consumers pay down their shopping balances. But at the start of 2023, it remained unchanged. And now shoppers are prepared to spend even more than 2022. Holiday shoppers do plan to spend more, according to a survey and the forecast done by the National Retail Federation. They found that people plan to spend about $40 more than they did last year. And that could be in part because of higher prices in some categories. There is still this deal-seeking mentality for items, and so that may mean that people are going to look for whatever is on sale, along with seeking newness. Americans planning to flood the mall with their retail credit cards may be shocked when the bill comes, because those cards are carrying a higher interest rate than years prior. In fact, some are starting to rise to rates that only subprime borrowers see, rates exceeding 33% some retailers have already noticed is that credit card delinquencies have ticked up. And that may mean that people are struggling to make payments and could again be a warning sign. Big box retailers like Macy's and Nordstrom already flagged the slowdown of repayments on their credit cards over the summer, showcasing a potential risk to retail revenue this season. The average consumer has around a $6,000 credit card balance four to six hundred dollar monthly student loan payment, high rent and car loan payments. Americans may wonder if it's even possible to keep their heads afloat. The best tip for credit card debt payoff actually is to get a zero percent balance transfer card. So you move your existing high cost debt to this new card with a zero percent promotional rate. Credit card balances saw the largest increase of all debt types this year, forty five billion dollars. And compared to other debt types, credit cards typically hold the highest interest rates. Any extra money should probably go to the credit card, just because that's likely to be your highest cost debt by a wide margin. A boom for consumers may come from Congress's Capping Credit Card Interest Rates Act. If passed, the bill would cap APR for credit cards at 18%, prevent credit card companies from imposing new fees to evade the cap, 
and impose penalties on credit card companies that violate the cap. But all eyes are still on the Fed. We're not really sure where the Federal Reserve is going to be taking interest rates next. If they continue to hike rates, it could be more difficult for borrowers to pay down the debt. If they reduce interest rates, however, it will take some pressure off consumers and they might be able to start making more consistent payments and reduce those delinquency rates.